Hello everyone, uh, we are here back with another uh, quick review and unbox. We have today uh, uh, a collection of uh, docking stations for either Mac or PC. In my case I use Macs so uh, I'm going to uh, review it from the point of view of the Macintosh computers. A couple of years ago when I had my 2015 MacBook Pro. Uh, I needed a, a um, docking station to connect my two IPS uh, displays to my Mac. And uh, the displays that I use uh, have uh, either um, display port or HDMI or DVI connectivity. So um, I got this one. This is a OWC, it's a Thunderbolt 2 dock, and it has a plethora of connections. Uh, right in the back, you can see the power to the docking station, an HDMI out port, two Thunderbolt 2 ports, an Ethernet port, and a FireWire connection. Then we have mic, microphone and headset and three USB 3.0 ports. On the side, you have two additional USB 2.0 ports. These are uh, high-powered and charging ports. So these are perfect for fast charging your, your phone or something like that. Well, it served me well for a few years, for a couple of years, but then I moved to the 2016 MacBook Pro with USB-C ports. So by the time that I got the new computer, uh, these two over here were not released yet. And I was looking for the OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock and it wasn't released either. So I came across with this manufacturer called Digit and it had very good reviews on Amazon. So I decided to go with this one. This is the USB-C dock. Now I'm going to try to explain the best of my abilities what USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 means. What I understand is that USB-C is the connection and Thunderbolt 3 is either the protocol which dictates the speed of the connection. That's the best way that I can describe it. So this is not a Thunderbolt 3 dock. You won't get the 40 gigabit per second speed of Thunderbolt 3. You only get the USB-C connectivity right here, but only at USB 3.1 speed, which is roughly I think it's 5 gigabits per second or something like that or 3.1 is 10 gigabits so that's, you better look f Google for it and, and find the, the correct number I'm, I'm just confused with all this stuff but what I, what I do know is that this is not Thunderbolt 3 this is USB 3.1 so you also have DC in the, the USB-C for the computer uh, the uh, another USB-C for another device, a display port, an HDMI, an Ethernet, and two USB 3.0 ports. And on the front, you have an additional USB 3.0 with a charging, it has a charging icon there, and the uh, speaker and microphone connection. This particular uh, docking station works well with the MacBook which is a uh, 40 something watts computer and uh, the MacBook Pro 13 inch because it delivers up to 60 watts of uh, charging uh, ability to the computer but I used with my 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro and it worked well and I've been working well for several months now now the problem with this dock is that 
as right now, Mac OS Sierra, which is a current uh, Mac OS version, although uh, Mac OS High Sierra is on the on the development phase, it's on the beta testing phase. And uh, the thing is, the uh, the Mac OS doesn't support multiple displays on a single USB-C connection. That means that if I connect an HDMI to one of my monitors and a display port to the other, I won't be able to display in an extended desktop, just mirror, which is, I don't need that. I mean, I need, the, the, I use two displays so I can move one stuff to one display and the other stuff to the other display. So. Uh, what I did is I connected a very cheap HP uh, port replicator which has a uh, display port connection using uh, display link drivers which are USB drivers for handling uh, video. Those drivers are not very uh, stable and they are not very fast but it works, works for word processing for basic web browsing or all the stuff. He has some some glitches with the transparency and stuff, but it works for the most part. These have been serving me very well. And uh, why I connected the HP port replicator because I wanted to have only one cable come coming out of my computer. That's what I want. I don't want two, three, or four cables connected to the computer, just one one, because that's the promise with the new MacBook Pros. It's the promise that Apple did to us with the new USB-C ports. So if I had to connect these to one, one of the ports and then another dongle to get the second display, I don't like that. If you have only one display, then it'll work for you. It doesn't have the full speed of Thunderbolt 3, but if you, what you need is connect to your computers and maybe a USB external drive is more than enough. Now I hope, and there are rumors that macOS High Sierra will accept multiple displays. Okay, <clears throat> now I approach the Cal Digit people and they were so nice to send me these two guys up here. Now, these are Thunderbolt 3 docking stations. That means that it uses the full speed of Thunderbolt 3 technology. The is, this is the TS3 Lite. It has dual Thunderbolt 3 Type-C. It has dual extended displays. Now I can only use one dock to connect to my two displays. It is a blazing fast funnel three speeds up to 40 gigabits per second. Uh, Lumen construction, display port, USB 3.1 type C, USB 3.1 type A for standard devices, gigabit Ethernet, and it has a certified Thunderbolt 3 cable included. Now, it has 72 power supply and power cord included. Although, this one over here will not charge your computer. It's not the final solution and it, it won't work for me for my needs, specific my needs, but well, it might work for you. Uh, and, and I'm sure it'll work for many uh, Windows users. So, uh, power cable. This is the USB, uh, the Sunbuff 3 cable. The power brick, standard power brick. Dog is down here. Well, as you can see, it's small. And if you compare it with the USB C dock, it's not that small. I mean, the USB C dock is smaller. Let's see about the ports. You have the power connection. Display port, two USB ports, USB C ports, one for the computer and one for another device. Then it has a uh, headphone and microphone, USB C, 
I mean USB A 3.1 Ethernet and on the front another USB and a USB C and a third USB C which is kind of nice because I have an external drive which is USB C so if I want to connect two displays here I'm going to use the display port in one of the displays and then a dongle for the second display and they the Caldigit people were nice enough to send me this this adapter over here this is a USB-C to HDMI dongle see so this will connect over here and I will have a display port and a, the HDMI to connect to my two displays it has a smoother uh, surface it has a kind of a uh, heat dissipating kind of uh, material here it's all aluminum of course yeah. <clears throat> so this is the the uh, Thunderbolt 3 light dock now Let's let's look at the Thunderbolt 3 Station 3. This is not the light version. This is supposed to be the fully fledged uh, docking station solution for Macs and PCs. But for Macs, it has the added advantage of uh, charging your computer up to 85 watts, which is uh, what what your your. 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro will need 85 watts. So uh, they made some some decisions on the connectivity of this one, which I don't really understand too well. For example, it has two eSATA connections. They say for an external RAID storage, and I understand that uh, might be useful for connecting an external RAID. It has two USB 3.1 ports, uh, Ethernet, display port, and only two USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports. And it doesn't have a third like the, like the light version, which is very unfortunate for me because I wanted to use one of the external USB ports to connect to my external drives and uh, and the second one I'm going to need it to connect my second display but well it is what it is so let's take a look at it so again power port use uh, Thunderbolt 3 cable mm, rubber feet maybe for putting it uh, vertically a massive power brick I imagine for the 85 watts oh now this is smaller than I expect so look at this it has a rubber rubberized material here so you can put it this way, but it has a rubber feet, so you can put it this way, over here. So as I said, it has the power connection, Ethernet, uh, display port, two Thunderbolt 3, one is marked for the computer, uh, the two USB 3.1, and the two eSATA connections, which are not USB compatible because they used to have these kind of eSATA connections and also fit in a uh, USB connection too so you will have four but they went for the plain eSATA connectivity and on the front another USB type A no not type C as I was expecting 
and the usual headphone and microphone. So this will be my new dock from now on. Well, you can make a decision for yourself which one will work best for you. If you have a 15 inch MacBook Pro, either 2016 or 2017, this will be your best bet. If you have a 13 inch or a MacBook and um, you want to also charge your computer, then the USB-C dock will work best for you in case you don't need Thunderbolt 3 but if you do need Thunderbolt 3 and you really don't care about uh, recharging your computer then this uh, Thunderbolt 3 TS3 Lite dock will work best for you I hoped this one had the connectivity this one has I guess you can't have everything can't you so thanks for watching, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, thank you.